What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Satin Air Jordan 5s. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Whether you're a new subscriber or you've been with the channel for a long time, I really appreciate you being here. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and also give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video and also the place that I picked up this pair of Satin Air Jordan 5s early, StockX. As I'm sure you guys all know, I've rocked with StockX for a very long time and that's because they're my absolute favorite place to buy and sell my sneakers. My favorite thing and probably the best part about StockX is that no matter what you buy on the site, it's guaranteed to be authentic. And the way StockX can actually guarantee the authenticity of anything that you buy on the site is that whenever you purchase something through the website, the seller actually has to ship the item to StockX first. Real people who are also certified legit checkers actually check over each item to make sure that the item that you receive in the mail is in fact going to be real. And with all the fakes and unauthorized things floating around the internet and just the world in general, having that peace of mind from StockX is so important. Not only is StockX great for buyers, it's also great for sellers like myself. StockX provides a very easy platform to use to sell your brand new sneakers, streetwear, designer goods, watches, and even handbag. Literally, just search the item that you're trying to sell, so in this case, the Satin Air Jordan 5s. StockX also provides some really great metrics, like a tracking system that allows you to check all the sale prices of that item in the last couple days over the entire internet, so that allows you to make an informed decision when you decide to sell your sneakers. From there, you can either sell your shoes to the highest bidder and cash out on the spot, or if that price isn't exactly what you want, you can set your own price and wait for a buyer to come along. Either way, StockX provides huge visibility for the items that you're selling, so they do tend to move pretty quickly. In my opinion, these are one of the dopest Jordans to drop for the next couple months, and right now they're sitting on StockX early for just a little bit over retail. That's totally crazy to me, but it might not be to you guys, so I'd love to know your thoughts on when the shoe releases, whether the prices are going to go up or going to go down. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, make sure to check out StockX in the link in the top of the description. On Saturday, November 3rd, for $190, Jordan Brand is releasing the brand new Air Jordan 5 Satin. Over the last couple years, there's been actually quite a few Satin Air Jordan releases, mostly Air Jordan 1s. Those shoes were all very limited. In some cases, it was like 500 pairs, for example, on the Satin Bread 1s. But this time around, it looks like Jordan Brand is making the Satin treatment a lot more accessible by creating a much less limited sneaker. I couldn't tell you how limited or how not limited this sneaker is going to be, but based on the pre-release prices that I've seen on StockX, I don't think it's going to be that difficult to get. And in my opinion, that's a great thing because this shoe is dope. So without further ado, here it is, the Air Jordan 5 Satin. Jumping right into the shoe, the most notable thing and obviously the namesake of the sneaker is this full satin upper. This Jordan 5 has the exact same paneling on the upper as a standard Air Jordan 5, except obviously this time around the leather is switched out for black satin. For most things, satin is probably not my favorite material. It's not like I seek out satin things and just want to have like a, a satin couch and a satin, I don't know what else is satin, but it's not something that I really look for. However, the look that this satin gives this Air Jordan 5 makes this sneaker feel so premium. It's very smooth to the touch, it's not particularly Plush, which I guess doesn't really matter because it's not leather, but it's got this really incredible like glisten and shine to it. And the cool thing is, is that no matter what direction you look at it, the light sort of highlights different features of the shoe. One thing I'm not totally sure about with this satin material, just because I've never owned any other satin Air Jordan 1s, is how this shoe is going to crease. I mean, I would assume that it's going to crease, I just don't know how deep those creases are going to be and how it's going to look over time. But honestly, I'm sure it's not going to be that bad, it was just something that I was thinking about. As you move up the shoe, you've got these flat black laces that weave through these black plastic eyelets. Underneath the laces on the tongue, you've got this totally clear netting. And as you get to the top of the tongue, as with most Air Jordan 5s, you've got this full 3M detail. And then you've got a nice little red embroidered accent in the middle. On the back of the tongue, you've got your signature upside down patch. Except unlike the standard Air Jordan 5 patch, this time around it says recognize on one shoe and then greatness on the other. Moving inside the shoe, you've got this very plush, very soft black sock liner. And then rounding off the inside of the sneaker, you've got this pretty plain red insole with a black jump mat. As for sizing, this shoe fits pretty much just like any other Air Jordan 5. I actually went down half a size in this shoe because I really want to wear it very loosely laced and Air Jordan 5s do sort of tend to run a little bit big on my feet. That's probably not true for everyone and of course everyone's feet are different so just grab the size that you usually would grab in Air Jordan 5s. And if you're not really sure what that is, you should be fine going true to size. 
Continuing back on the sneaker, you've got more of that black satin paneling, and then right in the center of the midfoot, you've got more of that clear plastic netting. Moving around to the heel of the sneaker, you've got a black embroidered Jumpman. Then moving down the sneaker, you've got this really nice looking bright red midsole. Not only is the red midsole accented by these black shark teeth, you've also got this really nice black splatter print running all the way around the midsole. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got this icy blue translucent outsole with a black Jumpman on the forefoot, and then you've also got these red rubber accents on the toe and on the midfoot as well. Overall, I think you guys can probably guess what I'm gonna say about this sneaker because you guys heard me gushing over it But I just think the shoe is just so well done huge kudos to Jordan brand because they've really stepped up their game this year Yes, not everything that they've dropped has been a winner But the stuff that's good is really good if you're looking to lock down your pair of satin air Jordan 5s before they release Make sure to head over to StockX and the link in the description below I would love to know your thoughts on the satin air Jordan 5 and whether you're planning to pick up a pair when it releases on November 3rd So of course make sure to leave those comments in the comments section down below. Don't forget to check out StockX by clicking the link in the description below. It's an awesome site and also by clicking that link you definitely help out my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one.